I don't think, well, I guess it'd be on the deer, I guess that that's all that matters. set up a little bit better. My chair is still not the greatest. I made it a little bit better though, but now it's leaning forward, not to the side. But I can deal with that. There's deer everywhere. I don't even know what to say. Like, I haven't seen this many deer at once in a long time. I think that they might start herding up already because there's deer everywhere and they're all together. Literally, I'm not kidding. I caught up. I saw two and I'm like, okay, that's normal for this property. The past few times I've been here, I said, I'm getting set up. Sudden, I see five over to my right, five over in front of me, five to my left. I mean, all of a sudden, like a group of 20 of them just <clears throat> cut the corner of the field, and then a couple of them came in the field, and then it looked like a couple, like a rack. And I zoomed in and I noticed that the, there was two of them that were probably two year old bucks, eight or ten points, I couldn't tell for sure. But right now, there's a deer to my left, there's like five out in front of me, actually, six now. I just found another one, and I mean, they're everywhere. I don't even know what to say, like, it's just whether or not they come close enough. I don't know why they're not eating the corn so much. But I'm sitting watching, like, the other 20, and all of a sudden they're all looking to my right, and I look over to my right. There's three more that go and catch up with them. And I look down, and there's another one out in the field. And I look again, and there's one way out in the big field, and then one way out in that big field. I mean, there's deer everywhere. So, I gotta calm down, because this, like, it got my nerves racking. I mean, like, oh, I thought they were coming right to me because the bucks started walking my direction. I don't know what I should do if I 
should rattle or what, but I'm gonna let it, let it calm down real quick, because the deer were running around, so I don't know if they were scared or something. I'm gonna let them cool off, so stay tuned. Hey, she had dough, but she's she's just standing out. She looked like she got hit hard, but then now she's just standing out in the cornfield. Oh, you are? Right, right. Up on, by their house. Up on the mound. But she's just standing there with a spike and a fawn. And. Yeah. Well, you can't see her from the road, I don't think. Well, I see, like. 
It's like five over there, Ryan. But no, she, I don't know. She she's act. She's in pain. I can tell she's in pain. I don't know. She like I couldn't tell. It's so much smoke. I don't know where I hit her. She's just standing there like a gut shot. Where are you at? Is that a fawn? Oh, I see him. Oh, of course. Like, I've, I've been videoing her. Like, she's been in the field just standing in the exact same spot for like... Yeah, she's in there for like three minutes already just sitting there. Oh, I'm positive. 100% hit her. Yeah, I'll, I'm just going to pack up and then... Probably. Might as well if you're here already. Alright guys, I'm gonna be really quiet. I was just on the phone with Anthony. Um, I don't know where I shot her. I was aim I felt like I was aiming at a good spot. Shot. She looked like she buckled. I couldn't tell for sure with all the smoke in the way and trying to film it. Um, then I filmed her. She's just standing out there in the field, so I'm hoping. Maybe she beds down. I don't know. The way she's acting, it seems like a gut shot, but I don't know I, how I would have hit there. It felt good. If anything, I felt, and maybe I hit her forward, maybe. If she stayed closer, I would have shot her again, but yeah, it's too bad. Stay tuned. Yeah. Hopefully it stays like this for another month. She cut way right. She cut a lot. A lot more than I was yeah. Thank you. Oh. That's good. She went, oh, like a cow. Way more. How'd she even make it? That is her. Oh, it is, yep. Yeah. It's cool. Right here. You got lung, too. Back lung? Yeah, it likes. That's gonna suck for you. Ugh. Oh, I can be on. Smell her. Gross. Yeah, so. All right, guys. Here she is. Um, she ran a long ways, but she ended up stopping. Um, I was on the phone with Anthony, so I didn't know that she laid down. I was kind of worried. But then when we got home, looked at the footage, fast-forwarded, and she ended up laying down, so that made us feel a lot better. We knew she was going to be dead right out here. And then when we were walking out, we found out that there was a lot of blood, so we had no doubt she died really quickly. She's a decent-sized doe, not a really big one, but not. I'm guessing last year's doe. But perfect eating. So thank you guys so much for watching another video of Small Town Hunters. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And until next time. Minnesota DNR. Put on stick on stickers. Except, how would you tag a doe? Huh. They don't have antlers, so how would you use a stick on their leg, maybe? Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't work very well, but. Stick it on their eyeball.